Hey guys! So today in Beauty Vegans, I'm going to zoom in on someone of which I never expected to get this many requests. You guys are going crazy for this person and it is Anne Boleyn. So today I'm going to talk to you about the beauty of Anne Boleyn. So she was the second wife of King Henry VIII of England and she reigned between 1533 and 1536 when she was beheaded. So in 1536, Anne Boleyn was executed on the charges of high treason, adultery, incest and witchcraft. And after she was executed, all her portraits were ordered to be destroyed. So it is very hard to kind of find out what she actually looked like since we do not have any contemporary sources of what she looked like anymore. There is supposedly one coin with her likeness on it, but you can barely make out her facial features on that and it's just very hard to tell. So we have to go by accounts of people that saw her, written accounts, and this is pretty difficult to do as well as Anne Boleyn was a pretty controversial figure. Her marriage to King Henry was what initially started the English Reformation of the Church and this made her a very famous historical person but it also brought her many enemies within uh, not only the church but England itself as well. Many people tried to kind of model her image and the way she would be remembered in history by describing her as a remarkably ugly person or a witch. She is sometimes described to have had six fingers on one hand, um, huge moles in several locations. One person even described her as having a large wen on her neck. So it is very questionable whether all of this was true since this is a woman that seduced the king and supposedly many other partners as well, or, or at least she was beheaded on those charges. So she had to be at least a little bit attractive. Now, more realistic accounts describe her as still not being a very beautiful woman. She was pretty average looking. Um, if you believe these sources, she had dark, long, straight hair, which is the complete opposite of the beauty ideal of the time, which was blonde hair, um, light eyes, a fair complexion. She had olive toned skin, she was a little bit of the darker side, and she had very dark eyes, which are sometimes described to have been almost black. So she wasn't your typical medieval renaissance beauty. There are other things that made her attractive. She must have had a great charisma. She was very intelligent and learned. She knew how to hold a speech and she had a lot of political influence even before she married King Henry. This is a woman that was very strong, she knew what she wanted, and that could have been what men found so attractive about her. Also, Anne is said to have had a white mouth and thin lips, which is believable when you look at her daughter, Queen Elizabeth, of whom we do have loads of pictures, of course. So for my rendition of Anne Boleyn, I had to go off of later sources, um, later images that were made of her, as we don't have any contemporary sources. So I went for this kind of iconic picture of her that I think most people will recognize, and this is my rendition of it. So I think since her hair is covered up, like any decent married lady would have done in that time, um, I thought I would do a little little mini DIY on this headpiece that is pretty iconic for Anne Boleyn. So to do this I took a piece of felt because this is a pretty sturdy material. It is able to stand up on its own if you have a little bit of a thicker felt. So I'm just going to draw out my headpiece shape. And then cut it out. And then I looked for a string of pearls and a string of lace. And I'm going to attach the string of pearls to the top by sewing it on. And when that is done, I'm going to sew the ribbon to the bottom part. And there's your headpiece done. It's just a really easy makeshift hairpiece, but uh, it's pretty good if you want to say uh, be Anne Boleyn for Halloween or something. Alright, so moving on to the makeup. Anne Boleyn lived in a time where makeup wasn't worn or it wasn't kind of publicly worn. Women may have worn it in secret, but it wasn't known. So we're going to go for a very natural look here. So I'm going to apply a little bit of a BB cream and I'm not going for one that is lighter than my skin tone this time, which I normally would for this period, but since Anne is said to have 
had pretty dark kind of olive tone skin I'm just going to go with a shade that is pretty much my color maybe a little bit darker and then just cover up my dark circles with some concealer again I'm not going too light on this and I'm also going to cover the outline of my lips with this concealer since she is supposed to have had thin lips I'm going to make mine kind of thinner then I'm going to take a red lipstick and I'm just going to apply this with my finger onto the center of my lip and kind of blend it outward so that it's not entirely clear where my lips end this is again to enhance that kind of thin lipped look so then I'm going to fill in my eyebrows really thin kind of lightly just just the center I'm just going to draw one line in the center to make my eyebrows look well groomed but not too thick because this is a period where eyebrows were kept thin and then I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara a very thin layer very natural looking to my top and bottom lashes and then I'm going to use some blush to make circles on my cheeks this is the shape in which blush would have been applied back then so we're going for a nice little round apple circle shape and there's your makeup done so we're going to keep the hair very simple as well she is always depicted with a center parting underneath her headpiece so i'm going to start by parting my hair down the center and pulling it back into a low ponytail but making sure to comb my hair over my ears so that they are covered so when that is done I'm going to take this black scarf and I'm going to wear this over my head like a headscarf I'm going to attach the scarf to my head using a couple of hair clips just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere and when that is attached I am going to place my little headpiece right in front of it and this I'm just going to attach to my head using two bobby pins on each side which I'm going to cross over into an X shape this way it holds the best and that is pretty much your Anne Boleyn look done so the last thing I'm going to do is just take the rest of that string of pearls that I used and I'm going to just use this as a necklace because she is depicted in this portrait with a bunch of necklaces around her neck so I'm just going to use this so that it matches my headpiece and there it is your Anne Boleyn transformation is complete so I really hope you enjoyed this video guys don't forget to leave your requests for other episodes of Beauty Beacons in the comments down below and I will choose one for next time so I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video bye